Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a brand new jet using the Latvarian Monarch Decor Bundle. This bundle is obtained by completing a series of quests under the Doom tab in Battle Royale, so you might need some help to complete some of these. You don't have to get all of them done to get the bundle, I believe it's just eight. So pick the eight easiest and grind those out, and once you do, you're gonna find yourself with the Latvarian Monarch Decor Bundle set. This set comes with 10 pieces. It was supposed to be 38, but the other 28 will be coming in a future update. If you're considering buying the battle pass for this or anything from the item shop, I implore you to support your favorite creator. And if that's me, you can use code Flocka to show me how much you love me. Well then, let's play some battle royale. They keep pressing me, and they keep losing. Well, so we didn't win, but we unlocked the Latvian Monarch Decor Bundle. Check it out, here we go, we got all of these pieces, and that's why we're here, to make a new aircraft using these specific pieces, and the cogs are already turning. Let's hop into our sandbox world and get going. Just like every vehicle, we're starting this one off with a car jack, and I'm thinking I'm gonna make a jet this time. But for now, let's start off by filtering the Latvian Monarch decor from the rest of the sets, and that way we can only find the pieces we're looking for. So I'm gonna scroll through here and find some really cool pieces that we're gonna be able to use for this jet. I'm actually gonna turn the filter off because I am gonna be using a little bit of frost pine to ensure the integrity of the vehicle. So I'm gonna start off with a 16 by two frost pine floor and I think I'm just gonna start it right here. And as always, I have no idea what this is gonna look like. We're just gonna see what we can cook. So going back to the Doom coffee table, I think I'm gonna place one in the center and then two more on the edges like this. I think we're gonna go with the Doom wardrobe. It might provide us with some storage as well. So what I think I'm gonna do, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to place some more pieces underneath. I'm gonna place a frost pine floor like this. I'm gonna go four down and I'm gonna do the same thing on the front. So like this, and we're gonna build three. I wanna to try to put the Doom wardrobe on as the wings. So I've gotta get a thruster on here so that I can place this piece. I'll go ahead and add a floor piece onto the end like this, and that's where I'll put my thruster. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that Doom wardrobe, and I'm gonna place it until it's facing right side up. I'm gonna readjust this one on this side because I want the wardrobe to hang over by a stud on the inside there. So I'm gonna replace this one like this. I'll destroy this side. It should hang off by a stud on both sides of that six by two. Okay, now I wanna take the six by twos. I'm gonna go to that like middle seat thing that we placed right away. And I'm gonna place one on the side like this. And then I'm going to go like this, so it has to hang over by a stud now because otherwise, you know, you, you actually can't place it right on top. So it looks like we're gonna do it like this and I'm gonna keep doing two studs like that. So I'm gonna place those six by twos like this. That's one, two, three, four, and the last two are side by side. Should be flush with the top of your vehicle. So by now your jet should look something like this. All right, so on the sides, you're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, 10, 20 slots of storage. We've got items like the Doom Forge that would go really well. The Doom Tank would work really well. Some of these I might reserve for the aircraft or the survival vehicle just because they're so large. And this jet is looking to be a little bit smaller and a little bit more compact. The Doom Console, oh my goodness, this is almost a must. So I think I'm gonna throw this one on the very back, place it like this. We've got these really cool anvils that look like projectile launchers. Let's put those on the side. I need a good look for the front of this jet. 
It needs to be a small piece. It can't be large. So might have to go with the Doom Planetary model here. So what I'm gonna do is grab a floor. I'm gonna place a thruster on this side like that. I'm gonna take the planetary model. We're gonna point it at the thruster, move it over till it's green, and we're gonna move it up as far as we can. And that way those little planets or whatever aren't touching the ground. This is looking pretty good so far for me. So I think it's time to add on the tires, thrusters, balloons, whatever we might have planned. Okay, so I think I've decided against tires on this model. Usually I put tires on every single aircraft, but for this one, we're gonna try without, and I'm gonna throw a thruster right here so that I can put two more of these coffee tables down. I'm gonna point it at the thruster, move it over. That's as high as it'll let me go. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, point it at the thruster, move it up as high as we can go. And we're just gonna get rid of those floors we just placed. And there we go, the jet. Now I need to add the thrusters. So I'm gonna throw one right down here in the middle. And then I think maybe even two more right here. And because I absolutely hate when the thrusters overhang, I'm gonna place six by twos underneath on the backside like this. So I'm gonna go to the coffee tables on the front of the jet and I'm gonna place one thruster there, one thruster there. And on the back side, right next to those thrusters we just placed to go forward, we're gonna place two more thrusters. These are gonna be thrusters that we use for turning. So this one is gonna push the body of the vehicle uh, to the right. So for me, that's channel two. So that makes this one channel one. And if we're going by the alternating rule, then this one is channel two. And this one in the corner is gonna be channel one. Now it's time for the balloons, and I'm not 100% confident that we're gonna get good balloon placement here, but we're gonna try. So, they would work really well right here if the anvils weren't here. So, I'm gonna place two like this. I think for these anvils, I, I wanna try one more time on getting them on the side. Place this thruster like this on the side. Then I'm gonna take uh, like a just a floor piece. I'm gonna point it at the thruster and I'm gonna move it over until it lets me go green. And the only spot that that's gonna happen um, is on the edge of this floor. So I'm gonna place a piece like that and then move it up. That way I get it where I need it to be. I should then be able to just point the anvil at this. Yes, perfect. And I'm gonna put that right in front of the thruster. I probably don't even need that second piece, but I don't like nudging that much. There we go, the second turret is in. And here is the brand new look that we have. We can go ahead and actually add on some stuff that we want on here. Uh, we've got 20 slots of storage, but I think we might try to sneak some grand chests, maybe even just one on. Personally, there's a lot of weight on the back. I think that this is gonna need some help. But I'm gonna throw the two balloons right here and we're gonna see how it does. I'll add one chest of storage right there and our driver's seat is coming into view here and we're gonna throw that actually right here. I have all of my thrusters adjusted. The channels automatically place themselves where I need to be. The thrusters pushing me forward on channel three and the balloons being on channel four. So the only things that you actually have to go in and change are these turning thrusters. It's time for the test. Let's remove it from the jack. What we always do to test is just activate the balloons and we look at the tilt of the vehicle and we go from there basically. So right away, my suspicions were confirmed. This vehicle has a lot of weight on the back. Flies pretty good for the first time. Not bad, let's see how the turning works. Okay. I do wanna adjust where these balloons are sitting. I'll move them back two studs onto that upper floor right there in the middle. And uh, also, we gotta see if this thing can fall to the ground without taking any damage. So, here we go. Oh yeah, baby, indestructible. Little glitchy, but indestructible. I'm in the nether. I'm in the Lego Fortnite nether. What was that noise? <laughs> okay, let's take the balloons and let's place them where I said I would. So, we're gonna go into the activated balloon and I'm gonna move it back right there. I don't believe that's gonna hit the chest and cause any problems. 
But like always, we've got to test it out before we assume anything. So let's activate the balloons now. And oh, we that lift is literally perfect. Okay, and now we're flying it and it looks like it flies really well. You can go ahead and add more floor pieces on the side right there. That way you can fit yourselves two more activated balloons in case this isn't high enough for you. I like to have varying speeds and heights between all of my aircraft, so I'm not very picky. It does turn a little fast. You can maybe get away with moving the thrusters a little bit more to the inside. That's gonna reduce how fast it spins. The closer you have those turning thrusters to the inside, the more it's pushing on the middle of your vehicle instead of the ends. So if you find yourself turning too fast, don't remove the thrusters. Maybe try moving them closer together. We've got one chest of storage as well as 20 extra slots hidden in those wardrobes. So a lot of storage on such a small compact vehicle. You've got decent fly speed. It has okay handling, adjustable handling as well because you can move those front thrusters in on those coffee tables right there. To show you what I mean, I'll actually demonstrate here. So I'm gonna move these thrusters in like this. I'm gonna give them their respective channel. And now when I turn, it is a lot slower. Like, I don't know if you can see the difference between this and what it was doing, but I couldn't really aim where I wanted to go. It was just whipping me in 180s the entire time. So move those thrusters in if you don't like turning fast and enjoy yourself a brand new Doom Jet. If you want other themed vehicles, jets, survival vehicles, I've got a playlist for you. You can go check out my LEGO Fortnite build tutorials playlist. You're gonna find the best variety of vehicle tutorials in all of LEGO Fortnite. But that's it for now, you guys. If you followed along, you have yourself the Doom Jet. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this one and where does it stack up against all of the other jets that I've made. Take it easy, you guys, and as always, I will see you in the next one.